Hi guys and welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. And if you don't know, we use KiCad a lot during our build processes. So, so when we're building things with electronics, we always do the design in KiCad, uh, schematic, layout, all that stuff. We actually, you know, we use this program regularly. And if you don't know, there's a couple resources out there like the KiCad.info forum, which I help run. Uh, there's the videos. I made a bunch of videos over the years. Hopefully I'm going to be making some more here in the next couple weeks. Uh, and uh, well, there's one other one that I wanted to talk about today because I think it actually, this is actually the one that I use the most when I was learning KiCad. Uh, so let's take a look over at the screen here. So, um, you know, I have the, the schematic and the layout of the Bench Buddy. This is what we worked on in the first session of contextual electronics. And so the main thing that will work for you is if you hit the, uh, well, first off, hotkeys are very important and, and there's a video about that, but that's just a huge part of, of, KiCad is, is using hotkeys, and it's a little bit odd at first, right? So people kind of push back against that sometimes because it's, you know, it's definitely, it is not uh, the typical, you know, UI kind of stuff going on here. It, like it or not, there's other options that are closer to that, but I think KiCad is still great even though you have to use hotkeys. Anyways, uh, so since hotkeys are such an important part, uh, learning the hotkeys is actually really important. So if you hit the question mark key, it actually pulls up the hotkeys list. Now this one should be, let me make sure I have the right program selected here. So make this full screen. Uh, and so hit the, uh, hit the question mark key, see help this window. Uh, and then you go down, you see all these different, uh, all these different keys here. And, and you know, like things like uh, if I wanna draw a wire, right? I can go and hit W and then it starts drawing the wire, right? I mean, you can't see my key as I'm doing it, but basically, uh, you know, you can, quickly uh, implement a lot of the things you see over on the right side here. And uh, if you go to the context menu too, you can actually see that they, they almost always list the hotkeys as well. Uh, so I think that's just really important it's to know that you can go and look up the hotkeys at the single push of a single button. You just need to know that button, right? So um, the other reason that this is nice is because, well, you don't know what you don't know, right? You don't know what other options are out there, but the hotkey list works as a way of listing what's actually available. And that is super helpful for, to me because I would go through and I'd see things like, uh, what's a good example, right? Like add a no connect flag. I didn't even know there were no connect flags right away, right? And so if I go in and hit Q now, right? If I'm on the right thing, <laughs> uh, I can hit Q and drop a no connect, right? I mean, like that's just something that I can do then. I can go drop no connects on these different things. And, and this actually helps with, um, with ERC, right? So you can go and you can find new features just by looking at that. Like I said, you can also go and look up the uh, context menu here, right? So if I go, sorry, if I double click and go into this schematic and I mouse over hit, right click rather, um, I can go and see all the different ones. Now you do see there are some non uh, hotkeyed things as well, which is a little annoying, but it's you know just kind of the fact of life here. Uh, but like I said, uh, hitting the question mark key will show you what you are missing out on. Now it is important to note as well, that the hotkeys are different uh, between layout and schematic. Uh, now, that's just because, I don't know, like uh, there's, there are different functionalities, but you'll have to learn each one, but you can always go in and you can actually go and edit the hotkeys as well, right? That's another, another thing you can do. If you, wanted that, if you wanna do that, I'm on Windows right now. If you wanna do that, you can go into preferences, hotkeys, and then edit hotkeys, right? So this is the same thing. You can go and actually change what you want to do here. Uh, you can go and change the hotkeys yourself. You can save them to a file so you can pull them up later. So um, like I said, it's a little bit of a you know paradigm shift if you're not used to using hotkeys and other uh, programs, but if you're using KiCad pretty much, you should kind of accept it, move on, and, and just really lean into it, you know? And, uh, and I think the best way to then go and learn all these commands to use the question mark key on a regular basis, you can go quickly look up, well, what is that hotkey again? You start to kind of build up that muscle memory. And believe me, I've seen people, and I'm, I've gotten you know much faster over the year. I'm not, I'm not the best person with layout, but uh, you can really start to fly doing this kind of thing. So uh, hope you consider doing it. If you don't know, and if you wanna learn more about uh, KiCad, you can go and watch those videos or the forum, like I mentioned. If you wanna learn electronics, uh, that's what contextual electronics is about. So we use KiCad, but we're actually going through everything. We go through theory, we go through picking out parts, purchasing the parts, building the boards, troubleshooting the boards, test, test equipment, everything like that. That's really the difference between the KiCad videos and contextual electronics. Contextual electronics shows you how to build the entire thing. It's all project-based as well. So if you wanna check that out, go to contextualelectronics.com. There is a sign up there. Uh, there's also all the YouTube videos uh, that we have available. 
you have any questions, we have a forum over on uh, forum.contextualelectronics.com. I know I've probably said like five different links now, but I will try and put all the links down below as well. So if you have any questions, go over and ask in the forum. And thanks for watching.